Hello folks and welcome to a Wise Game video, where in today's video I'm going to be covering the Burning Crusade Classic. What I'm actually going to be covering in today's video is the update when it comes to the PvP gearing, the item levels, and all that good stuff, and actually some of the cost. Because since my last video, now there's a new season out, so now a lot of these things have changed. But before we do, remember to like, subscribe, and also ring that bell notification down below. This all helps in supporting the channel and notifying you of any awesome videos coming your way. So let's dive in and give it a look. Now I'd like to start off by saying that you're going to have to watch my other video if you want all the information about this. So I'm not going to be going over the vendor location and all that stuff. Because, again, I've already covered that in my video a couple of months ago. And as we know, that information has not changed. So I will provide the information for the other video down in the description panel of today's video. And also embedded at the end screen of today's video. Now what did change is the currency, how much honor you have to spend now to get some of the gear, and as far as the item level goes. Now I know item level is not a huge thing in the Burner Crusade, but it's a lot easier to just say an item level than to sit here naming off all the different stats. So now the first vendors we're going to look at and the changes when it comes to the gear and the weapons is in our capital cities. So again, this is going to be Stormwind for the Alliance and Ogamar for the Horde. So looking at the Weapon Master here in Stormwind, we're going to see now that they upped it to item level 136 when it comes to the weapons. In the last season and phase, they were item level 123. So that's a big increase when it comes to the item level now for the weapons in our capital cities. The honor cost looks like it still remains about the same. So that item level is reflecting Season 2 weapons. And again, all you need is the honor points. I also want to add too that this vendor, the weapon vendor, also has item level 115 weapons, which is blues. And they sell for about 4 to 5k honor points. Now I'm not going to cover the reputation quartermasters in today's video because they have not changed. So if you go watch my other video, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Now next we have another vendor in the same location. And he sells item level 136 right up to 159, which is huge. For just honor points and some mocks of honor. 159 is the top item level for PvP gear in Phase 5. That's the same kind of gear that you get by doing arenas. So from the last phase in season, these item levels went up by about 10, which means it's going to raise your resilience, your attack, your magic, etc., etc. Okay, now still in our capital cities, we're also going to have this vendor. And he sells all off pieces, so like necklaces, rings, cloaks, and trinkets. And again, all you need for these is honor points. The main reason why I'm showing you guys this vendor is because this is the most expensive piece honor-wise in the whole game. And it's the Trinket, which goes for 40,000 honor points. They also sell a lower one too, which is cheaper, but this is the best one right now for PvP in the game. And for the Alliance, it's called Medallion of the Alliance. And for the Horde player, it's called medallion of the horde okay now i'm at the shop in area 52 in nithersnorm this is the best shop i think in the game because they have all arena gear and weapons here plus they also have some honor gear and weapons so upon entering go straight ahead and the first guy to the left here is called Crixel, and he still sells the season one pieces of gear and this is for honor points which is still the item level as it was in my last video of Season 3 of 123. So as far as I could see, there wasn't any change when it comes to now, when it comes to this vendor, except for the cost. The honor got reduced quite a bit. 
So yeah, when I bought the Gladiator Spellblade, mine was like 17,000 honor. Where now we could see that it's down to just over 4,000 honor. So that's a huge drop. Now the next vendor that's located to the right of him is called Smiley. And he hasn't changed much either for the last season of the game. So again, you could buy most of all the pieces, all the weapons, and the gear with just honor points here. But the item level is 136, which is Season 2 Arena Gear. That's about it when it comes to him. Again, the item level is 136. Now the next vendor, again to the right, the guy who's behind the counter right here, his name is Vixton. Now he did change quite a bit from the last video and the last season that I discussed. He mainly sold the same stuff that Smiley had in the last season. But now we could see that he sells just arena gear now and weapons. So you do need arena points to buy from this vendor. And the item level here for all the weapons and all the gear is 146 now. Up from 136. And from this vendor, there is no rating requirements. Now the last vendor here, Big Zock Talk Wrench, who is also behind the counter, he sells the highest weapons and gear in the game when it comes to PvP. And you do need arena points to buy from him. And some of these pieces also require ratings when it comes to arenas. So for the shoulders, you need 2,000. And for the weapons, you need an 1850 rating from arenas. Now it changed for this vendor in the current season, or I should say the last season of the game, is the average item level he carried was 146, which was the top item level for PvP gear. But now we could see that this piece right here is item level 159. So all the pieces of gear is 159, and the weapons are now 154. And that's about it. Those are the major changes when it comes to the vendors in the game, you know, what some of these pieces cost, and what's required now for the last season of the game, Season 4, which is during Phase 5. Now keep in mind, there are some other vendors which I covered in the first video that I'm not going to bother covering in this video because their item levels and all that went up the same as these guys. So for the main town called Chartier, for those vendors, they're also the same as Zoc Talk Wrench. And then we also have vendors out in Tanneris, and their prices also scale the same. But that's all the changes right now going from Season 3 into Season 4 for the Burner Crusade Classic PvP. Again, we'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. And until the next time, you guys have yourself a fantastic day. Take care.